Australia has become the latest country to give younger people an alternative to AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine, opting instead to order millions more Pfizer shots. There is a recommendation for a preference. But the Prime Minister stresses AstraZeneca will still be key in Australia's vaccination campaign. We are still talking about millions and millions of Australians over the age of 50 um, who, for whom the AstraZeneca vaccine is recommended. Not, not recommended against, recommended for. There are fears AstraZeneca's vaccine can cause rare blood clots. Greece is now following Britain in recommending those under 30 get a different shot. In France, people under 55 who've already received their first AstraZeneca dose are being told to get Pfizer or Moderna the second time. Meanwhile, Hong Kong has asked AstraZeneca to cancel its deliveries to the city to avoid any waste given vaccines are in short supply globally. There remains a shocking imbalance in the global distribution of vaccines. International health officials say unwanted vaccines are desperately needed. As countries begin to prioritize one shot over another, that may free up doses for poorer nations trying to catch up. Most countries do not have anywhere near enough vaccines to cover all health workers or all at-risk groups, never mind the rest of their populations. All of the countries that have set age limits for the AstraZeneca shot say it should still be used on older people who are most at risk of dying from COVID-19, including Canada. The overall benefit of the vaccine in preventing COVID-19 and its severe outcomes outweigh the risk of side effects. But there is growing doubt. Health authorities in Madrid say less than half of those booked for an AstraZeneca shot showed up a day after Spain paused its use in people under 60. Canada's chief public health officer says there have been no cases of blood clots reported here. And she says Health Canada and the National Vaccine Panel continue to consider the latest evidence from European regulators to decide if any changes to AstraZeneca use are needed in Canada. Karen Siolin, City News.